Let's play a special game of hide and seek with clues. Mila and Morphle, you're it. Okay. One, two, three. Where should we look first? They could be anywhere in the city. Here's your first clue. There are a lot of trees in the park. Let's go, Morphle. Look, Morphle. Papa Jungle is definitely here. your next clue. Cloud! Atma must be hiding in the sky. Morphle, morph into a helicopter. and all these clouds. We should blow all of them away. Ah, yeah! <laughs> Found you! That was quick. Here is your third clue. Morph into a submarine. Aquily must be behind that rock. You found me, too. Well done. Yummy! Hey, everybody. Are you ready to come travel back in time with us? We're going to visit the age of the dinosaurs. Oh, dinosaurs! There are all sorts of different dinosaurs, and we are going to study them all. Let's go! Here we are, the age of dinosaurs. Look! Oh no, those are velociraptors. The 
Velociraptors are small but dangerous dinosaurs. Whoa! Tumbling test tubes. Whew, that was close. Thank you, Morph. Morphle, morph into a Gala Minus. Wow! A Gala Minus is one of the fastest dinosaurs there is. Great, Morphle! Look over there. Those are Argentinosauruses. They are so big, but they only eat plants. <laughs> oh no, we need to save that egg, Morphle. Morph into a Pteranodon. Now, we need to find the mother of this egg. Hmm. It doesn't look like an Argentinosaurus egg. No. Look. There are some Argentinosaurus eggs right there. Let's keep searching. A Triceratops. Triceratops had three big, sharp horns. Oh, that's so cute. But look, those eggs are different from the egg we have. So this egg isn't a Triceratops egg. Interesting. Whoa! A real Pteranodon! And it's trying to chase us away from her eggs! And look! Those Pteranodon eggs don't look like the one we have! Let's fly away quickly! Those are Ankylosauruses! They can use the end of their tails to hit really hard. But look at that eggshell. It's different from ours as well. Crocodiles in the time of the dinosaurs. Crocodiles are a really old species and already existed in the time of the dinosaurs. Well, but look, even the crocodile eggs look different from ours. Oh, I don't think we're ever going to find the mother of this egg. to eat us. Run! Morphle, morph into a T-Rex. A Spinosaur is way bigger than a T-Rex. It wants to eat us, but what does it want? I know, it 
wants the egg. The Spinosaurus is the mother of this egg. Phew! That was close. Good thinking, Mila. How about a little bedtime story before you go to sleep? Yay, story time! Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Little Red Riding Hood. Shouldn't it be Little Blue Riding Hood? Uh, okay, sure, yeah. So Little Blue Riding Hood was walking through the forest to bring a basket of food to her sick grandmother. All alone? That's no fun. Uh, okay, she brought a friend. As they walked through the forest. Walking, Morphle morphed into a monster truck. That's way faster. What? No, wait, there is a wolf. Where are you going, little girl? Sorry, Mr. Wolf, we're in a hurry. Uh... Grandma! Oh, right, they arrived at Grandma's cottage. That's it? Grandma should live in a big sky. Skyscraper. And there's a giant dragon to protect her. Wow! Okay, but the wolf is also there, and he gets hit by a UFO. Are you okay, Mr. Alien? Well, I am, but my ship is all broken. Now I can't get home anymore. We can take you there. Morphle, morph into a spaceship. Fine, they go to space and take the alien home. There's my home! But the wolf is right behind them. Is he riding a space shark? Uh, sure, but he is getting closer. Thank you so much for taking me home. No problem. Uh, and then they were back at Grandma's place. Yes, finally. So, they bring Grandma her basket of food. Hey, you are not Grandma. Wolf! No, but you can't tell. The wolf has a disguise. Really, it's me, Grandma. No, your mouth is way too big. Okay, you got me. I am a wolf, and I'm going to eat you. But in a forest nearby, a strong and brave woodcutter heard the wolf. That sounds like a wolf. Don't worry, everyone. I'll handle this. <sighs> Stop it, you big bad wolf. Oh, no. It's the brave woodcutter. <laughs> Looks like I saved the day. <laughs> hmm, what's this? Aha! Uh -huh. I believe this is yours. Oh, thank you, handsome young man. But have you seen my granddaughter? Oh, eh, uh, Mila? Mila! Now that was a good story. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch it! Yeah, all that water is almost like a shower, and bandits like to be dirty. Sorry! You know, 
We could make the whole city dirty. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. But how do we do that? I'm sure there's a magic pet for that. <laughs> 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 With the power of this slimy magic pet called uh, Slimy, we will cover the whole city with slime! Yeah. <laughs> slime, slime, slime! We need to stop them, Morphle! Morph into... Not in my city, kids. What do you think you're doing? We need to catch the bandits. What you need to do is clean up all this mess you made. Mm, but... No buts, Missy. I'll be back in a bit to see if you've cleaned all this slime. Let's clean this up as quick as we can. Murphy have an idea! That's great, Morphle. <laughs> Now, let's go after the bandits. Oh, no. Look at all that slime. Uh-oh. Look, bandits. <gasps> They're about to slime Officer Freeze's car. Morphle, spray their slime away with your water. What? You two again. You can start cleaning the fire station right away. Okay, Officer Freeze. <laughs> wow! Look, Morphle. Every place the slime has been is much cleaner than before. It's like some kind of magical soap. Ah. Let's go clean up the rest of the slime. Didn't we just slime this place? Yeah. We cleaned it all up. And now we're going to clean you, too. Oh, no you don't. I know, Stein. I love it. <laughs> T-Rex! Oh no! Morphle, morph into a T-Rex too. For brother time to zap us back to our own time. Look! We're back! Yay! Thank you, brother time. Using your magic pet powers, we went to the past and saw lots of dinosaurs. Yeah! Thank you! Did you hear that, Yorn? Yeah, they saw a lot of dinosaurs. Yes, and 
They had a lot of fun. <sighs> this means we can go to the past as well. Oh, good idea, Stein. And in the past, we can gather dinosaurs to create our own dino army. Wow. I always wanted to be a general, Stein. <laughs> What's that? <gasps> oh, no. Stop it, Bandit. We need to follow them, Morphle. <laughs> Keep up, Yawn. <laughs> Uh-oh. I can't see them anymore. Morphle cannot, too. <gasps> I know. Morphle, morph into a search dog. Look, Yawn. They are so cute and little. They will be the first members of our dino army. I don't think they want to join us, Stein. Come on, guys. It's going to be great. Ah! Ah! <laughs> bandits! Oh, no. The bandits are in trouble. Morphle, morph into a Gallimimus so we can catch up with them. Yeah! Now morph into a T-Rex to scare the Velociraptors away. <laughs> Bandit, the age of the dinosaurs is very dangerous. It really is, Stein. I guess you're... <laughs> A pteranodon has taken the bandit. Morphle, morph into a pterodactyl. I can't fly. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Morph into a triceratops so you can pin down its tail. Phew. Thank you. Ah, uh, Stein, behind you. Uh oh. Help us! <laughs> Can't you morph into something? <laughs> Try to go! Oh no! I have an idea. Morphle, morph into a big Argentinosaurus. Woo! We're safe here. Great. I love you, Morphle. <laughs> yeah. Now we only have to wait until Brother Time's hourglass runs out of sand and we will be sent back to our own time. Look! We're back! Yeah! Uh, <clears throat> maybe the dino army wasn't such a good plan after all. Mila, Morphle, look at this new toy I got. Oh. Ah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Morphle, morph into a horse. Welcome to the medieval fun fair, everybody. The horse race is about to start. The bravest of knights will ride their horses through the forest, cross a bridge, and fight a dragon! And to make the race more interesting, I will bring a real knight from the Middle Ages to our time. Wow! 
love Morpho. A real knight. Wow! This is the competition. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> no laugh. <laughs> I like your attitude. Three, two, one, go. Go, Morpho. Hey, wait. Three, two, one. Good luck, everybody. Hey, you cheated. <laughs> Little girl, in my time, everybody cheats. On to the bridge. Come, Morphle, to the dragon. Hmm, they're going to defeat the dragon before I do. I will have to find something even bigger. Go. What beast is this? I'll defeat you and win the competition! Please, sir, stop it. More dangerous beasts. I will defeat them all! What? A knight attacking a bus? Not in my city! Hey, you! Stop it! Ah, oh, you must be the sheriff. Why are there so many monsters in your town? Monsters? What are you talking about? These are not monsters. They're cars. Cars? There is so much you don't know about our time. Let me show you. There they are! Thank you, Mila. You have shown me so much today. I don't want to be a knight any longer. From now on, I will be a surfer. That leaves you to be the only knight still in the race, Mila. Congratulations, you won! Morpho, morph into a hot air balloon. Wow, this is the most extraordinary school presentation I've ever seen. But you still haven't told us what it's about. It's about the animals of the jungle. Wow! wow. <laughs> Look, what animal do you guys think this is? Uh, oh no, is that a snake? <laughs> it's a cute monkey! Monkey! Hey, another monkey! Do you want to come out and play, too? Oh, no! Morpho, morph into a tiger, too! <laughs> wow! Whew. Thank you, Morpho. That was close. The end 
of my presentation. We've learned that the animals of the jungle are fun, but sometimes they can also be a little bit scary. Mila, this was the most interesting school presentation I have ever seen. An A+. Plus. <laughs> Somebody stole the wheels of my tow truck. Morphle, morph into a tow truck too. Oh, thanks, Mila and Morphle. Oh, oh, look! All the wheels have been stolen. Oh, no! Hmm. <gasps> look, the wheel bandits? No, no, no! The fire! are gone. Now how are we going to get to the hospital? Hey, Mila and Morphle! Thank you. Mealand Morphle! Morphle, you have to bring this egg to Uncle Mortimer before it hatches. It has his new magic bed inside it. Quick, Morphle, morph into a car.
Good luck! A traffic jam! <gasps> Morpho, dodge the cars! Now dodge that traffic light! things in the whole world. In fact, we've studied it for our latest invention, the world's bounciest bouncy ball. Look! Wow! What are you going to use it for, Professor Rashid? Use it for? I hadn't thought of that, actually. I guess I usually don't really think ahead. But anyway, it's really cool. Look, it's so bouncy that once you throw it, it's almost impossible to catch. Wow! It is really cool. Toppling test tubes. I didn't think ahead again. How am I going to catch it now? We have to get that ball back. I'll go get my hovercraft. Go after it, Morpho. in my city. Ball. We are trying to catch it, but it's hard. 
the ball just keeps bouncing to the next place. Hey, Morpho, that's it. We should think ahead. Then we can predict where the ball is going to bounce to next. Look. First, it will hit that mountain. Then it will pass through those hoops. Then it will go through that loop. And then it will fly high over that mountain top. Here it comes. It hits the mountain, goes through the hoops. Now it goes through the loop. Here it comes. Jump, Morpho. Thank you, Mila and Morpho. Thanks to you, I have learned how important it is to think ahead. Tumbling test tubes. I forgot to fill up the gas tank. <laughs> That's how my animal mixer works. It can combine all sorts of animals. This would be great to create new pets for the magic pet shop. Watch this. How to change them back without Professor Rashid's help? No, wait! Morph into a superhero, Morpho. Over here! What is it, Zookeeper Kenneth? My animals are all mixed up, and I see your cat has a lion's head. Well, my lion has a cat's head. Paws, is that you? <laughs> hmm, so the machine swaps parts of existing animals. <laughs> so to find the real Rashid, we have to find a duck. <laughs> To the park, Morpho. And that's the physics of why people can't fly, but ducks can. Pretty neat, eh? Quack. Professor Rashid. Ah, Mila, Morpho. Let's return to the lab so we can reverse this nonsense. That should do it. Now hit the switch. Wonderful! Now for the rest of the animals. Please don't change them back again. Pe 
people love them at the zoo. I've never had this many visitors. And I would very much like to raise them to be great magic pets. Truck. Dump those losers and come with us. Hey, we need our truck to get to a fire. Better start running then. <laughs> yes, we are now the vehicle bandits. And with this life ray, it's easier than ever. Oh no, Morphle. We've got to stop them. Morph into a race car. Wait! We need to put out a fire now! Morphle, morph into a fire truck! To the farm! No more trips for you, you Sunday driver! Why you? You ruffians! Time to clean yourself up! <laughs> I don't know what happened. I was flipping burgers, and all of a sudden, a fire broke out. Let's go after those bandits, Morphle. Bandits! Wait, Mila, Morphle. Those bandits have stolen my ambulance, and I need to bring this lady to the hospital. Morph into an ambulance, Morphle. Ah, a quiet day in my city. No traffic violations anywhere. Huh? Cars without drivers? Oh, not in my city. Wait, what? Bye-bye! Now, let's get those bandits. Stop it! Right there! Oh. Uh. Morphle, morph into a police car. Wow, it's like you read my mind. Let's get those baddies! Oh, no you don't! Vehicles, stop them! Fly over them, Morphle! Uh-oh! Vehicles, join forces and become a mega robot! We are Vehicle Bot! Oh, boy! Sweet rides. There's only one ride left for you, and that's a ride to jail. We are building the tallest building in the whole city. But none of our cranes are tall enough to finish the project. Mila, could you ask Morphle to morph into a big crane? Morphle, morph into the biggest crane in the whole world. Amazing!
Thanks a ton, Morphle. This is the greatest building this city has ever seen. Super duper well, Morphle. Now let's go play in the park. Unbelievable! Where did that wind come from all of a sudden? I don't know. It's not windy anymore. <gasps> Look! than I thought. Up in my cloud castle, I'm always alone. We're very sorry. We didn't know that we built our skyscraper right through your castle. We will start over and build a new skyscraper somewhere else. I have better plan. I love my cloud castle. But up here, I have nobody to play with. For my plan, I need your help. Thank you. 
Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> Come back, Bella! Mila, the superhero, will get Bella back for you! Mila the superhero. Stop it, please. <laughs> Mila the superhero will stop your trap. Don't you worry. Thank you, Mila. My ice cream truck. Thank you so much, Mila the superhero. Don't mention it, sir. That's what superheroes do. Mila, look! One more time, Yon. Okay, Stein. Drive away, Yon. But we're stuck. It is so happy. Phew. Thank you, Mila, the superhero. Yeah. Superheroes help people, but do you know what they do as well? No. What do they do? They put bandits in jail. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking care of these scary animals while the zoo is under construction. No problem at all, Kenneth. They're not so scary once you get to know them. Morphle, morph into a truck. Ready, feel at home. Have they gone completely mad, Barky? You can't keep scary animals in a backyard. They're far too dangerous. I guess they're going to have to learn it the hard way.
What's going on here? Why are you fighting? All right, then. a good idea to bring the animals here, Daddy. Uh, maybe you're right. If they behave bad again, we'll have to bring them back to Zookeeper Kenneth. Let's give them some food. Maybe they'll calm down. <laughs> what are you going to do, silly animals? No, no, help! Barky, wait for me, Barky! Ah! Oh no! We have to save him, Morpho! Morph into a helicopter! Okay, morph into a truck with a cage, Morpho. Animals, why do you keep doing bad things? Because they're very bad animals. Victory is mine. Hey, stop it. Have you been teasing them all this time? So what? They're scary animals. 